Hello everyone, Xforts here, and welcome to JoJomas Day 2, where today we're going to be talking about Joseph Joestar. On day one, someone told me that I should try to get a Santa hat, and uh, I told them I'd try, there's proof right there, and this is the best I could come up with, so I you'll have to endure, I'm sorry it's not the, the real thing. Back on to Joseph Joestar, by far the most popular JoJo, and most people's favorite JoJo. Especially anime only watchers because before we got diamond is unbreakable all you guys had was Jonathan who is a great character BS sort of a cold personality and we didn't get to see too much of him And then you guys had Jotaro who has an even colder personality who doesn't really do that well of a job to pulling people in to really care about his character and consider them his favorite. So for most people, up until part four, their favorite Jojo has been Joseph Joestar. But now we have Josuke in the mix, who is very similar to Joseph considering he is his son. So uh, maybe we'll see more variety in people's uh, favorite Jojos now, especially anime only watchers. But I know a lot of people that have read the manga fully and they still hands down say Joseph is their favorite. He's not my favorite personally, but uh, I still really enjoy him as a character. So let's talk about this guy. So Joseph Joestar, uh, part two was definitely the part that gripped me into Jojo. And and uh, even though now that I look back at it in retrospect, it's not all that great as I thought it was the first time I watched it, but I mean it really did a great job of hooking me into Jojo and into the series as a whole, because if we had something similar to uh, Phantom Blood, it would be way harder for people to get into the series considering how hard it is for people to already get into the series with Phantom Blood being the first thing that they start off with. And then Battle Tendency really picks it up with a more flamboyant, more animated, and more charismatic main character who people can connect more and, and grow to like. So Joseph Joestar, favorite moments and least favorite moments. My favorite moment uh, for Joseph is, uh, I'm gonna stick it to their parts, so uh, I'm gonna exclude my favorite moments from him in part three and part four. Because we're on day two, we're talking about the second JoJo, let's keep it Battle Tendency. So my favorite part from uh, Joseph Joestar in Battle Tendency was actually pretty early on, and it was in his fight against Santana. So the reason why I like this moment, not really a moment for Joseph, just like an entire battle and sort of lean up to the battle, because uh, obviously Tequila Joseph, uh, and then we see him, when he's actually just like talking to Santana, we see, you know, how easy going he is even in the most dire of situations. And pretty much in that one fight against Santana, you get really everything there is about his character in just a few chapters and in like one to two episodes. So uh, when we first see him, you know, coming to Santana, like he's playing jokes on him, he's jumping around, he's being very flamboyant. And he has the alt, an alt, not an ultimate life form, but like an apex predator in front of him, a pillar man that has Santana had the ability to manipulate his body, go inside other people, and just completely contort his body in ridiculous ways, and also, uh, you know, just like just manipulate his body in so many ways. So Santana, he was an extremely strong pillar man, even though ranking wise he was weaker. Even though I would definitely say that his power was better than ACDC's. But, I don't know, uh, Santana, he was considered the worst, but I think he had a more badass power than most of the other pillar men. So when Joseph was fighting this guy, we, we saw how easygoing he could be, we saw how joking around he was, even while literally staring death in the face, like how much- he- Joseph is not dumb. I mean, he's always like goofy in the entire series and in like in every situation, but it's just to kind of lighten the mood for especially the watchers and the people around him, it's just the way he is, so- we saw him facing Santana, a, a pillar man, which he's not dumb, so he knew how big of a threat this thing was, and he was like playing jokes on it, acting like he was the he was the better fighter, even though I know deep down Joseph was like, all right, this dude's fucking strong, but you know, I, I, have, I have to stay humble, you know, I have to fake it till I make it, is sort of a Joseph mentality. And even up till the end of the fight, uh, we saw how good of a fighter Joseph was with Hamon because he's been a natural Hamon user since a very early age. And, you know, we think, oh, Joseph's just, like, kind of a fighter. And then when we see the things that he does, like, planning out the timing of the day with the sun where it was going to be at its highest point, pointing down into the water in the well. And that's when we really see how smart this guy is. And, you know, how he's just kind of, like, the best of everything in one character. How he's really smart, really easygoing, and he has a great personality. So I just thought that one fight against Santana was the perfect showcase of Joseph as a character. And all the other Pillar Men fights, I don't think they ever really compared to that one. It just, there was something about it that I really enjoyed. So now on to my least favorite Joseph moment, and I couldn't really find one. Like there's, there was never a time where I was like, it's sort of the same as Jonathan. Like a lot of, a lot of these JoJo's, there's never a time that I didn't like them on screen because you know the series, you're always rooting for the main JoJo, except in some parts. But especially in Battle Tendency, you know you're really rooting for Joseph and Caesar, and there's never really a part where it's like, ah, oh, Joseph, why the fuck did you do that or something? But uh, for least favorite moment, I'm gonna have to go with his fight against Ultimate Cars. Um, because it, it didn't really feel that deserved. I mean, it was hype as shit. 
like when you're first watching that or reading that fight it is um it's good it's good but then when you look back at it it's like yeah there was a lot of plot conveniences and you know joseph didn't really earn that fight like the the thing with his hand shooting up into the air and miraculously grabbing the ultimate life form by the neck and then also uh magma rocks coming up and shooting cars into space and joseph was just really like sitting there and like i said fake it till you make it uh he told cars the last thing he told cars was that he planned out everything so um i don't know i guess that was my least favorite moment because it would have been cool if joseph uh actually did plan that out and actually did uh earn his fight against ultimate cars and could uh, technically like save the world but that really isn't that, uh, like my least favorite moment. It's just something uh, I, I didn't really like when I was looking back in retrospect. <laughs> so yeah, my favorite Joseph moment was in his fight against Santana. Showed everything there was about his character. And my least favorite moment was his undeserved fight against Cars. Although he did put up a great fight with the helicopter and the, bag and the volcano and everything like that. Um, I don't know. I, I, I really don't let, I don't dislike that moment that much but it was probably my least favorite moment from joseph in retrospect but in the moment it was hype as shit and i enjoyed the hell out of it so that was jojo miss day two with joseph joestar a lot of your guys's favorite jojo so let me know what your guys's favorite moment from this dude was in the comments and uh yeah i'm, I'm interested to see because like when i was looking through i was like least favorite moment i really couldn't come up with one so i, I just decided um i know his, his like kind of undeserved uh fight with cars although he did go through a lot of shit so you know he did deserve that fight uh looking back at it but um you know he didn't uh finish, he didn't give out the final blow i guess i could say but uh yeah what's your guys' least favorite moment from joseph and favorite moment from joseph jojo miss day two tomorrow we're gonna be taking a look at jotaro kujo so be sure to come back like the video and subscribe and thank you guys for watching